Hello guys, Random Boy here, and today I want to go over Python casting. Basically, what is casting? Um, casting is basically when you specify a variable in Python to a specific type. In Python, there are three main types of variables, those being integers, floats, and strings. In my intro video, I'm sure I went over them very lightly, but basically, for integers, integers are constructs that hold integer numbers, as in whole numbers, nothing with a decimal. And basically, if there's any float entered into an integer, it will round the number to the closest base value. So, for example, if you put in 3.7, it'll round it up to 4. Whereas if you put in 3.2, it'll round it down to 3. Float values are basically integers but with decimal spaces. So you can type in 3.2 when Python will accept that as a valid number. And strings are basically sentences and characters. Basically, everything that I have written down right now in orange is a string. So, let me show you an example. Alright, so here I created three variables, x, y, and z. And I've assigned them, I've casted to them integer values, which is defined by the keyword int. And for x, it, the integer I've defined is 1, so x carries the integer 1. And for y, it carries an integer, but I've put in 2.8 to demonstrate that a float, when entered into an integer var variable, will be rounded up or down. Actually, I think in this version of Python, actually on no, Python in general, I think it just rounds it down. So, sorry about mixing it up earlier, but yeah, it should go down to 2. And then... For z, I've put in a string, but because the keyword is an integer, it's basically casting the string into an integer. So when I run this, well, nothing's going to print because I've put in the print function. x, y, z. And we get 1, 2, 3 as integers. Um, to see if they are integers, we need to print them print out their type so for that we need to use the type keyword and for each for each value that's supposed to be printed I need to put in type so print type X type Y and then type Z so this should give us the type of each of the values even though what I entered were different types I put in an integer a float and a string but because I'm casting them as integers, they should all be integers. And there you go, class integer, integer, integer. And I can do the same with floats. So here, instead of using the integer keyword, I'm using the float keyword. So my integer here is being casted as a float. So instead of just being 1, it will be 1.0. Here I have put it, I've placed a float, which is also going to be casted as a float anyway, so it's, so it's going to output it as 2.8. Here I have a string, but to convert it into a float, it will show up as 3.0. And then for W, I have a string that carries a float, or a would-be float, but when converted to an actual float, it should just... Ex it should, ah. Sorry, it should just uh, print out 4.2 as a float value. So, let me just uh, show that. Up. Show that. Up. Ah, let me just show you guys how that looks. Sorry, my uh, throat is kind of dry. My parents like to keep the heaters on at maximum, so it becomes kind of hard to speak. Anyways, just type in CLS in the terminal to clear it. And then when we print it, it recognizes each of the variables as floats, since I've casted them as floats. And the outputs are 1.0, 2.8, 3.0, and 4.2 as float values. And lastly, let's just let me go over strings really quick. Just like with integers and floats, strings will convert it all into string variables. You just type in str as the keyword and anything that you put in will be converted into a string. Yeah, in this case for float, it's 3.0, but 
you need to notice for strings they have the quote the quotation marks that tells you that it is a string and not a float so let me just get rid of the W here and there we go class string for all of them and then s1 2 and 3.0 now since I'm doing these as brief examples, you won't really notice the difference since I'm just printing them out. But if you're instead of using the print function, you were using them in a different function for a different class. Like say this was part of a real life project and there were thousands of lines of code with thousands of classes and functions, then you then it's extremely important that you know how to differentiate between strings, floats and integers. And in case there's an error because you put in an integer when it's supposed to be a float or if we're in a string when it's supposed to be a number, knowing how to cast them as what they're supposed to be is a very important trait to know. So yeah, I just wanted to cover that really briefly. I hope you guys learned something new from this. And next time I'll be going over strings and numbers in a little more detail. Right now I just want to teach you guys a little bit about casting. Anyway, see you guys.